சிம்பயோசிஸ் பயோலஜி டீச்சர் ஹலோ சில்ட்ரன் வெல்கம் டு சிம்பயோசிஸ் பயோலஜி டீச்சர் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி ஏபி அண்ட் தெலங்கானா ஸ்டேட் சிலபஸ் கிளாஸ் டென் பயோலஜி சாப்டர் ஒன் தட் இஸ் நியூட்ரிஷன் த ஃபுட் சப்ளை சிஸ்டம் த சப் டாபிக் விச் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் இஸ் ஹைட்ரில்லா எக்ஸ்பெரிமெண்ட் லெட்டர் சி த steps which are required for this activity okay so aim materials required procedure observation and conclusion okay and uh, precaution also is there for this activity right the aim of this experiment is to show that oxygen is released by plants during photosynthesis then what are the materials required here right here we need beaker test tube glass funnel hydrilla twigs okay chilla so these are the materials which we require okay before going to the procedure let me draw the diagram related to hydrilla experiment okay this is a glass funnel okay so before placing the glass funnel under the beaker we have to place hydrilla twigs okay this is glass funnel these are hydrilla twigs and now what we have to do is we have to place a test tube over this this is the test tube which we are placing in an inverted position over the glass funnel okay so this is test tube but what is there inside the test tube what is there inside the test tube there is okay there is water inside the test tube what is present water okay so there is water present inside the test tube okay children so this is the diagram right so this is water this also is water right now 
procedure. What we have taken? The materials, beaker, test tube, glass funnel and hydrilla twigs. Now this procedure is, first we have to take the beaker and see that we have to fill that beaker with a half or more with a water. Okay children? Now what we have to do? We have to take the hydrilla twigs. We have taken hydrilla twigs. What is the specialty of this hydrilla twigs? Hydrilla plant is water plant. It lives in the water. So we are doing the activity in the water so that the leaf should not spoil. It should not be decomposed. For that purpose, we are taking a plant which can live in the water. And these hydrilla twigs, means small branches of the hydrilla plant, we are placing in the beaker. Okay. After placing the hydrilla twigs in the beaker, over that we are placing a funnel in an inverted position. You know children, funnel? This is the funnel, Y shaped, like a cone, isn't it? A cone shaped structure with a uh, long cylindrical tube at one side. Now we are inverting the funnel here. Now what we have to do is, we have to take a test tube, fill with water completely. There should not be any gap on that. After completely filling the water up to the brim. Up to the brim means up to the tip of the test tube. For test tube there is one side open now. Uh, that opening side completely up to the tip you have to fill with water. And now you have to use your thumb and close the mouth of the test tube. Now, when you close the mouth of the test tube with thumb, there is no chance of water to go outside. Now, what you have to do, you know children? You have to invert it. The test tube which you have placed in vertical position is now inverted. Don't remove the thumb children. If you remove the thumb, total water will fall down. Okay. So you have to close the thumb as it is like that only. You have to hold the th uh, test tube with this four fingers okay now take that test tube and slowly place it over the glass funnel but see that you don't remove the thumb don't remove the thumb when the mouth of the test tube is outside the water once the mouth of the test tube is inside the water then you remove it after removing it slowly you bring the test tube to the end of the glass funnel. It will stay here only. Okay, children? Did you understand? Okay. Now what you have to do is, whatever the apparatus which we have kept ready here, similar apparatus, one more copy you have to make. Okay. That means you have to take one more beaker, one more glass funnel, some hydrilla plants, okay, test tube and all extra. One more copy. Why one more copy here? So this apparatus, one, uh, you can say apparatus A, apparatus B. Okay. Now apparatus A, we are placing in sunlight and apparatus B, we are placing in dark, in a dark room. Vice versa, you can do anything. Apparatus A you can keep in dark and B you can keep in sunlight. Or A you can keep in sunlight and B you can keep in the dark, whatever it may be. Okay, so one of the apparatus we are placing in the dark and the other you are placing in the sunlight. Now, what is going to happen? Let us see. We have seen the procedure just now. Now, observation. What do you observe? You observe that the one which we placed in the sunlight, the apparatus that which we placed in the sunlight, in that you will find a small change. What change do you find? You will see small bubbles. You will see there are small bubbles coming out of the hydrilla plants. Small bubbles, air bubbles. You can see small air bubbles coming out of the hydrilla plant but these bubbles that is air bubbles they cannot escape outside there is no chance why because over that glass funnel is there 
okay you may think that the bubbles may escape out of the glass funnel there is no chance there also why because you inverted one test tube over the glass funnel so these air bubbles where they will go you know not children air bubbles they definitely go up only right they will move to the top so these bubbles will slowly they come out okay after coming out where they will go they will reach the top after some time when the time is passing you will see that the bubbles will slowly gather on the top so as the bubbles gather here for example uh, this much of air is gathered here for example this is the air now all these bubbles gathered to form a air column here okay so in this air is there right after some more time what happens still these bubbles will go up right at that time what happens this water will come down as the air bubbles are going into the test tube the water will come down slowly the water comes down and this completely is filled with a air okay now water is replaced with a air water is replaced with a air okay children so there is no water in the test tube what happened to the water in the test tube it was replaced with the air okay right so now this is completely replaced with the air so this is the air so in this test tube now what is present previously water is present but as the time passed what happened the water came down and entered into the beaker and what is it, what is filled in this test tube now it is filled with the air so now what is present in it air is present but what is that gas we can guess that it is oxygen why because generally during photosynthesis plants produce oxygen so we kept in sunlight no children definitely oxygen only will be released but we want to confirm whether it is oxygen or not for that purpose we have to test this gas present in the test tube so what is the best test for oxygen whenever a burning splinter is introduced to this oxygen gas the burning splinter brightly burns now we are going to test the gas okay how to test the gas now slowly lift the test tube from the beaker be careful children the mouth of this test tube should not be opened when it is when we are bringing outside the beaker when we are bringing outside the water in the beaker see that the mouth of the test tube is closed with your thumb again okay children so here you can't put the thumb but after coming out of the funnel you place the thumb after placing the thumb now lift the test tube completely and now you make it in the upright position don't remove this thumb now what you have to do is you have to slowly bring a burning splinter burning splinter in the sense an agarbatti lighted agarbatti or a lighted match stick so that you bring it near to the mouth of the test tube once you bring to the test tube just release the thumb when you release the thumb from the test tube the oxygen gas which is there in the test tube will try to escape when it is trying to escape out this oxygen will make this burning splinter i mean this agarbatti or lighted match stick it will still burn vigorously okay so increase in the flame or more vigorous burning of the burning splinter is an indication that the gas present in the test tube is oxygen okay children 
so with this activity you have come to know that oxygen is released by plants during photosynthesis this apparatus we kept in the sunlight but what about the other apparatus which we kept in the dark you know out of the four factors if any one of the factor is missing no photosynthesis so when we place this one of the apparatus in the dark then there is no photosynthesis why because in when in presence of sunlight photosynthesis takes place in the absence of sunlight no photosynthesis takes place so no air bubbles will form no oxygen will be released in the apparatus which we have kept in dark what did you understand with this uh, two apparatus one in the light and one in the dark you come to know that oxygen is released in the apparatus which you have kept in the sunlight and oxygen is not released in the apparatus which you have kept in dark okay let us see the precautions in this activity so here in this activity what precaution you have to take is see that you hold the mouth of the test tube with your thumb when uh, when you are placing the test tube into the beaker you have to hold the mouth of the test tube okay when it is in the water you have to remove your thumb when it is out of the water you should not remove your thumb okay children so this is hydrilla leaf experiment for more videos please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for notifications if you have liked my videos then click on the thumbs up button then share my videos and comment on my videos thank you very much bye bye